Okay, we're ready to make the aprons and the wellboard for the uh, bench and the, the aprons and the wellboard give a lot of stability to the bench and stop lateral stresses from taking place. So um, I'm assuming that you don't have wide boards so I'm showing you how to laminate these into three sections with, th with three laminations. It'll give me a 12 inch apron and a 12 inch wellboard. So first of all I want to make sure this is fairly secure. I could just sit on it and that would work but I'm going to clamp it down here And um, I'm using a number four plane again. You won't see me using any other plane. I'm trying to avoid the wider planes because this is what you're likely to have at home. But you will have to learn to sharpen it and set it up properly. So first of all, I want to take a shaving off here, but I'm going to find out if my machining that you know came from the lumber yard was square. Usually they are square. So that means if my plane is registered properly, against this surface it should give me a clean shaving so here just it was just one shaving evenly off both sides transfer my clamp to this end and I move backwards from where I was And I've got my edge. I'm quite happy that this is going to be square. Yep. Yeah, I'm dead square. So that's one done. This next one I'll have to do two edges. And the third one I'll do one edge and then we'll glue that together. So I'm edge glue, uh, edge planed all my edges. So I'm ready to glue up. I've done my rehearsal. I've got my clamps on and I've adjusted everything so I can take these off. They're all set, ready. Don't forget rehearsals are really important. Uh, a trial run, all my joints clamped up tightly without any pressure hardly at all. So I'm going to run my glue against these two edges. I marked my edges. So a zigzag along here. I haven't found anything better than this zigzagging of the glue, so after 48 years of making furniture, I haven't found anything better. Rub joint, just to even out the glue, and you can see now, you can see I've got nice even glue on there all the way along, a little bit light there, but plenty of glue in there, enough for what I'm doing. Again, a zigzag. These edges were quite knotty and um, but they still planed very nicely. Starting in the middle, keep them as flush as you can. This one's a little bit low, so I'm going to go with one of my top clamps here. There's just a hair difference between that one and this one, so I cinch up and then I pull up on this one. They're flush, and then this one is high on this side and low on that side, so I'll be conscious of what that's doing. Yeah, that's good. Nice and flush there. Watch your length. I've got a little stagger there, but these are not even lengths either, so... Last one for this side, and then I'm going to go back in a minute and check them all, because sometimes you get slippage with the glue, 
because you're really floating these and then I can go back in I'll allow that glue to evenly distribute itself this one's a lot lower than this one so I just pull up on this one like that and that glue's now easing oozing out same on this one I've got a little stagger here that works great so we're pretty much glued up here need another clamp here this is no nonsense this is just straightforward I like to take off the excess because it slows down it slows down the gluing time so if you have too much excess on here Go ahead and take it off. That's great. So now I just have two more to do, and, uh, and that'll be my aprons and my wellboard done. Ready for the legs now.